Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks again for joining me. Two of the new guys, if you found this video because you're looking for places to visit and you know costs and things like that in Greece, remember to subscribe down below because I've got lots of Greek vlogs coming up. Uh, also be on the channel and also lots of other travel vlogs everywhere around the world. And to the old subscribers, thanks again for joining me. I know you guys have an interest in checking out other places in the world. And today I just want to show you around my Airbnb place. So I've got the Airbnb apartment here. I'm going to show you in a sec. Uh, Henya and I rented this place out. We got it for three nights. So I'll go through some costs with you, what it includes, the great stuff about you know talking with the host of Airbnb, and also something a little special that we weren't planning on to get with this Airbnb, but it came with the place and it was just like something we jumped on straight away. It was so cool. Really, really cool. I'll show you that in a sec. I'll take you for a separate tour on that one. So I'll start with the costs. It's a one bedroom apartment and there's a bedroom behind me. I'll take you there. There's a bathroom. We've got a kitchen. There's a living area behind me and then a quite a big balcony area. I'll take you to that in just a sec. Uh, the costs are around 45 Australian dollars per night and at this point that I'm taking the video, the conversion rates are around 64 cents to the euro. So one Aussie dollar gets you 64 cents. One Aussie dollar will get you 72 US cents. So they're the conversions I'm using. Give or take a few bucks, you know, the, the exchange rates vary quite regularly at the moment in the market. So just take that into consideration when you're planning your holiday. The nightly rate includes the whole apartment. So we're not renting per room or per shared room, which you can also do on Airbnb. This is the whole one bedroom apartment. It's got everything. It includes all the bills. It's got internet electricity and the other things in the apartment it's fully furnished you can see behind me there's paintings on the wall you've got you know quite a big couch here we've got a TV in front we've got aircon units we've got heaters you know for when it's cold there's a washing machine so if you need to get some washing done in that period that you're changing over into another place washing machines great and there's also enough room to sleep four people so that's really about eleven dollars Australian so probably like nine dollars US eight dollars US for you to stay in a one bedroom apartment all to yourselves. It is way cheaper than getting a hostel if you wanna just get a hostel on your own. If you've got a couple of people going, this thing is really cheap. And the other benefit is you've got a host, they've been living here, they know the area. If you get a good host, there are a lot of bad ones. And I was talking with a few of the real estate agents here in Greece as well. There is a, sometimes there's a bit of an issue with the owners in certain countries, some of the countries they aren't really too up on how to use Airbnb and they try and rip you off or they'll put photos of something that's not really there. So just pay attention to that when you're using the app and looking to get the place that you want. Fortunately in my case, I've ended up with a brilliant owner and they've also taken us out to a coffee. They've shown us around the places. They've you know told us a little, you know, secret places you can go to and check out some really cool stuff and I'll show you something that's here right now this morning. That one's not really a secret but it's really cool. In terms of other info they'll help you with costs on how to get to and from the airport because those taxi expenses can really rack up. Buses are sometimes or aren't always there and in Greece there are strikes as well so you really need to pay attention to that when you're about to come to a place like this. And all the regular stuff, shops, gyms, cafes, all that sort of thing, they show you the good stuff so you don't have to go through and keep testing out all the average stuff or the stuff you see online that gets really good reviews, you know, that sort of stuff. So they really help you out in that way. All right, enough talking, let's get on with the tour. Let's start with what was behind me. We've got the couch, the extra little spare bed, so you can sleep two out here. As you saw, there's the paintings on the wall. They've got nice little decorations, so it feels all homely. Dining area, it's a big enough table you can seat four on there, you can pull that thing out. I've just set it up as my office space. We've got a few bags all over the place because we're about to head out of here to our new apartment, which I will also show you. It's an absolute ripper. TV, little stand. Normally you don't get these really brilliant TVs here, but we've got a little flat screen. Heaters, some shelves, you want to put some stuff around for the few days you're here. Little coffee table, all tiled floors, it's nice and clean. Your entry door through here. Stuff to hang up, you've got the intercom system, so there's also security in this place. Wi-Fi goes right through the apartment. The kitchen comes with everything. We've got fridge, lots of stuff through the kitchen, cupboards, everything you need, all the cutleries, all the plates that you need through here, juices, and all the little bits and pieces which people pick up, cleaning products, more cleaning products under the sink, everything you need, mugs, chopping boards, there's all the big cooking stuff, so if you don't wanna eat out all the time, you've got all that stuff here, ready to go. Glasses, lots of little cooking things as well, so you don't need to buy everything. Some places will have that, some won't. More little cooking bits and pieces. Let's head on to the bedroom, but first, washing machine, it's a bit of a weird place, but it works. 
Washing machine, easily done. You can wash everything up there. All right, I'll go through the bathroom before the bedroom. Thanks, Henya. Henya left the toilet seat up. Cool. We've got a little stand over here. Everything's brilliant. Clean mirrors, nice big basins, shower, bath. As I said, it comes with all the towels, the heating as well. And here's the main bedroom, different flooring. We've got the beds, double bed. It's got all of the linen that you need. So if you're even colder, they've given you more stuff. There's a few more pillows. You can hang up all the things if you really want to. A little stand there if you've got some books or you want to do a bit of work from, you know, a nice little standing desk. Bedroom's quite big too. Also got aircon, nice lighting's right next to the bed so you don't have to get up to switch those lights off. Glass doors out to the balcony. So I've got these closed because there's a bit of noise on only this morning. We'll open this up to our big balcony. I'll keep this quick. Nice big balcony. Hey babe. You can say hi. I just did. Oh sorry, I didn't hear you with all the noise. I know. <laughs> uh, washing lines if you need those, some washing stuff if you've messed up. This is the really cool part on Tuesday mornings here. They do a huge market all up and down this street. Not all the other Airbnbs, just this street and a couple of other little ones up that way. But check this out. We have fresh fruit and vegetables, anything else you need all the way through this street. You can hear it just going off. It was going from this morning. Who would not want to wake up to that? Well, it was a bit noisy. You have to wake up to it every morning, but this is fucking cool. he has gone down and tried some of the fruit. It is amazing here. Look at this. Alright, you got your citrus man with nectarines, you got some zucchinis and veggie stuff here, apricots down the back. It just goes on all the way down the street and a couple of little side streets as well. So there you have it, that's everything we picked up for 45 Aussie dollars a night. It's everything you see here, it's fully furnished, no bills to pay, and we've got the bonus throw in of a fresh fruit and vegetable market on Tuesday mornings and we so happen to be here on a Tuesday morning. If you've never checked it out, do your research when you're using the app, look for some good places, look for a good pricing on the apartments that you are wanting to rent, give it a go. And if you guys want any other questions answered or you want any other information, let me know in the comments down below. You can also catch me on Facebook, Instagram and Snapchat, you can keep up to date there. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that button down below, give the video a big like if you want to see more of this or you just like this video in general. Remember you can check out more travel vlogs in my channel down below, so click that, check them out, there's travel, there's eating, there's other topics that I talk about, lots of good stuff there, check it out. And remember, until next time, if you cut carbs, you cut life.